Welcome to the video. Um, you know, this is Carl. You know, I'm a businessman. We talk about businessman, and we need some businessman. So, as many of you may know, there is a loan, or I would say a grant going out right now because of COVID 19. It's called the EIDL loan. So, there's a lot of misinformation as well as updated information about this loan. So, the good thing is, about this is if you are a small business owner, even a large business owner, um, independent contractor, self-employed, you may be, and the key word is maybe, eligible for a grant up to $10,000, right? So this, this started about a, a week ago, and there's been a lot of miscommunication because this was really, this has really been a messy process of getting the information out. Um, and, and the transparency is just quite honestly quite awful. So here, and I'm going to link everything um, that I'm reading off of is basically uh, in the description below. So this is kind of like the the document, the stimulus package document. It's, it's almost 900 pages. And in it specifically, it talks about how the administrator shall verify that the applicant is an eligible entity by accepting a self-certification from the applicant under penalty of perjury uh, pursuant to section, you know, it's like talking about the section title. And it says that um, they may be eligible for not more than $10,000 for the funds, right? And advancement. So basically in the EIDL, uh, there's going to be an option for you to ask for an advancement of up to $10,000. Before this, uh, before, before yesterday, because the SBA brought out some information yesterday, it, it basically inferred that Everyone that applies, that is approved, and to be a, in order to be approved, I believe you need to be in business at least before January of 2020, but to be safe, you know, at least be in business a year, you know, um, and you know, and have, and if you if you were if you're lucky, be able to to show some proof, because you know, if you were actually in business, you'd be able to show some proof of like, hey, even if I wasn't, even if I was a sole proprietor, I'm still running. So the updated information is instead of everyone getting $10,000 because they kind of made it open to abuse the system, now there's an updated information from the SBA stating that you're getting up to $10,000 per employee that you have, right? And if you're a sole proprietor, that means you're only getting $1,000 instead of the $10,000, which was um, previously uh, talked about, right? So that's getting a lot of people upset and angry, and that's very justifiable. Now, in terms of actually applying for this loan, because it's exactly if that's exactly what you're going to do, uh, you actually have to go, and this is going to be linked in the description, you have to actually go here. This is the COVID-19 Economic Industry, uh, Injury Disaster Loan Application, right? So what you need to understand is first and foremost, I am not your damn lawyer, all right? I'm not your life being said, you're doing this on your own discretion. So honestly, there's <laughs> this, I, I remember reading it saying that it could take up to two hours and 10 minutes to do, to do this process. And I don't know, oh, right here, it says it right here. That's the of time for clearing this entire application is two hours and 10 minutes. And I don't, and I'm, it says two hours and 10 minutes. And I'm not sure if, if they're fooling themselves, but this literally took me like, like three minutes to do, right? Um, but that's also because I have everything in my computer. So let's get started. Majority of you are either going to be uh, applicant is a business of no more than, than 500 employees, or an applicant is an individual who operates under sole proprietorship with or without employees or as an independent contractor. These two right here is the bingo, right? This is what's going to be able to get you all potentially a grant. So click whichever one you are and please, you know, do not lie on this application. Um, I know some people have been there that have already applied for this since last week and they still haven't gotten their money yet, but the SBA did state that they will be releasing funds later this week. I don't know how true that is, but you know, you get what you can get. Now, once you click which one applies to you, uh, you basically got to read all over over every other, uh, you got to read all of this over, and this is basically asking um, 
some things like if you did anything wrong in the past. So I have not done anything wrong in the past. So I just checked all of them off, click continue. And then this is where you put in your business information, right? Legal name, um, EIN for sole proprietorship, organization types, let you know this is where you can put sole proprietor, limited liability company, um, things along those lines. Uh, let's see, let's see. Cost of goods sold and gross revenue, and this may be also this may be also important. And then the rest of it is not is not necessary unless it has a red asterisk next to it. And you also put some general information. And then once you do that, you click next. So hold on for one second. Okay, so now we're back on to, to where we, we left off. Uh, I typed in some random information, oop at gmail.com. And now this part right here, the number of employees, this is the difference maker of in the past. Before, from what it inferred, it stated that even if you're a sole proprietor, you might be able to get the $10,000 grant if you ask for an advancement, right? Now it's saying you're getting $1,000 per employee that you have, right? So if you're a sole proprietor, you only are getting, you might be able to get a grant for $1,000. Um, so there's two sides to this coin. One could say, hey, that's not fair. They're, they're going against the bill. Quite true. Another, on the other side of the fence, it's money that you didn't have before. That is also quite true. So um, people are frustrated, which I 100% understand and see both sides of the coin. So once you put the number, the number amount of employees that you have, you click next. Um, and then you filled in this information as well, just like, you know, your first name, registered agent. Um, so I'll, I'll put some information about this and then I'll get back to it. Okay, so now I put in some just like random information. Make sure this information is also checked off. It's asking you, is your business owned by by a business entity? So basically, uh, do you have kind of like a primary or parent company that owns multiple different companies? Uh, I myself don't have that. If you do have that, um, this, might, this process might be a little bit different for you, but I'm just gonna put no, and then you'll be able to scroll down to next, and it's gonna ask you some, for more information. Um, basically, if you did anything wrong in the past, like criminal activities, now this information is if anyone insisted assisted you in completing this information, do not put my name, do not put um, on this because I'm not assisting you, I'm just showing you the process. I'm not your lawyer, so don't put my name. I'm not trying to get sued. And once you do this, this is the most important part. This is how you potentially get your free money of up to $10,000. You click check, right? And then you put your bank number and accounting number, your, your account number and routing number. And then once you do that, you check off that you certify that this information is true and correct to the best of your knowledge. Um, you click next and it should give you basically a confirmation number. So make sure you check this off because this is the most important part of the entire application. Now, once you do this, right, supposedly you should be able to get the money within three days. I called the SBA myself. I talked to a rep and they weren't much help, but from what she explained to me, she said um, that it takes three days for the administrator to process the application and you might be able to get your money within a couple weeks. Two completely different things, right? Um, so now this, just so you get a better understanding of what you're applying for, the EIDL is actually a loan right and it is an it is not a forgivable loan that is the ppp the payroll uh, type loan that other people are talking about right so and i can make a video about that explaining that better or, or more in depth for you just put a put comments in below and then um, i'll get to that if you all are interested so the eidl is it's a loan up to two million dollars a two million dollar loan right and i believe it's last almost 10 years um, and the first year you don't have to, you don't have to pay anything back. Now I'm not saying it's a, it's a bad loan from what I understand. The interest rate is up to 4%. So it's definitely a favorable loan. Now people are misinterpreting it by stating it's a forgivable loan, which from my understanding, and I could be wrong, but from my understanding, it is not forgivable. It is just a loan. The great thing about the EIDL is 
you potentially are able to get a grant up to $10,000 and that grant money is yours and you don't have to pay it back regardless or not if you get accepted for this loan. So that is the value of it. Now, you know, I'm going to finish this off with uh, saying, but, you know, apply as soon as you can because this is a finite resource. They're not just going to be able to give everyone money as, you know, as quick as they can. So, um, and if you did also apply in, in the past and you did and you haven't seen this screen, I would highly recommend you to apply again just because uh, of how much discombobulation there is. Um, so with that being said, in terms of this video, you know, hopefully you everyone starts getting some of their grant money or get accepted for a loan if that's your intent as well. Um, and remember, you don't have to accept a loan if you do get it. But with that being said then, thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share. This could help a lot of people share this content. Uh, and if you want to know more, feel free to check out the blog below that I'm going to link to. Um, it's all about entrepreneurship, uh, basically how to help you, you know, take from step from the beginning of your business to, to help you scale it um, on Power Multimedia. So check that out. That's what we're all about. Uh, with that being said, have a wonderful day and stay safe.